Have you ever wondered how money came into existence? How we transitioned from the simple barter system to the sophisticated currency systems we use today? The answer to that question takes us back to an ancient marketplace, to the tale of a resourceful merchant named Tariq. In the hustle and bustle of this vibrant marketplace, amidst the cacophony of haggling voices and the rich aroma of spices, hung a tale of innovation and revolution. Here, Tariq, a merchant known for his wit and resourcefulness, conducted his daily trade. The norm of the day was simple, barter. Goods exchanged hands based on need and availability. A system as old as civilization itself, it was the lifeblood of commerce. But Tariq saw its limitations. Tariq observed an intriguing pattern. Some items held more value than others, and their worth fluctuated with demand and scarcity. He saw how a bushel of wheat could be worth a jug of wine one day, and two the next. Tariq realized that this fluidity of value made trade unpredictable and inefficient. An idea began to take shape in Tariq's mind, a concept so revolutionary that it would change the face of trade forever. He spent countless hours molding small, intricate tokens from clay, each inscribed with specific symbols. These tokens, Tariq declared, were not just pieces of clay. They were a representation of value, a tangible embodiment of worth that could be exchanged for goods and services. The marketplace met Tariq's idea with skepticism. Change, after all, is often met with resistance. But Tariq was not one to be deterred. He began to trade his tokens for goods, demonstrating their convenience and efficiency. The tokens made transactions quicker, easier and more predictable. Slowly, the marketplace started to see the value in Tariq's innovation. Tariq's revolutionary idea didn't just transform his local marketplace, it laid the foundation for modern currency systems worldwide. His clay tokens were the precursors to coins, banknotes, and even the digital currencies we use today. The concept of a standardized representation of value born in an ancient marketplace has shaped economies across ages and continents. In essence, Tariq's story isn't just about the birth of money, it's about how one man's innovative idea can drive change, challenge norms, and influence societies. It's a testament to the power of observation, perseverance, and a willingness to challenge the status quo. Through his revolutionary idea, Tariq didn't just change the way people traded, he changed the course of economic history. His legacy lives on in every coin we flip, every banknote we exchange, and every digital transaction we make. And that indeed is the power of a revolutionary idea.